I can speak now. Hi, everybody. <laughs> well, I would love to just thank Janice for bringing me back. I think you like me. <laughs> I mean, it is such an honor to have another national trust me enough to be in front of your women who you're assigned to. And so it, this is really exciting for me to be able to be a participant. I loved the video. I so enjoy watching the pink Cadillac history. I mean, when I saw Mary Kay on at seminar just now, it just oh, I just got the feeling of sitting in that arena. <laughs> and as a consultant, you know, with my mom and just being like, wow, one day, one day. Well, I have a word for you all tonight. You're closer than you think. I have found that throughout my Mary Kay journey that I have been closer than I've ever thought to my wildest Mary Kay goals, my wildest dreams. It is unbelievable just how swiftly you all's dreams can come true with your, with your Mary Kay career. And as Janice said, now with us having a virtual option. So my mom always, okay, let me tell you about my mom. So my mom is a retired Mary Kay national. And um, so she's my recruiter. She birthed me, first of all, she's my recruiter, my senior my national and my senior national. So my journey begins with her. I remember her coming home one day and I was in about grade school and she said, oh, I'm gonna start Mary Kay and things are gonna be pink around here. <laughs> and boy, could I have cared less. <laughs> when you're a, a little person or, or a child, the only thing you're concerned about is what your parents can do for you. What they do on their job is not really that important to you. It's, it's like, okay, just can I get, can I get, right? Well, as I um, moved on through high school, my mom remained in Mary Kay and I, um, I did notice a lot about her, but I began to notice more when I was in college and it was time for me to think about my next steps. I was about a junior in college and it was time for me to go, all right, Mia, what are you gonna do? So my uh, major was accounting and I had a job and in, an internship one summer. And this is where everything changed for me, right? Um, so let me tell you how this went. So I'd wake up, I call it the waiting game. So this is how this summer internship went for me. I woke up in the morning and I waited through traffic. And then once I got to the office, I waited for, it was, a, it was a, just a, it was a marketing firm with only women in the office and it was a, a sole proprietorship and a woman owned the company also. So what everybody did once we got there is we waited for her to get there to see what her mood was like because her mood would determine the mood of the entire office, right? So that was the second wait. Then I would wait really for lunch Okay, and then you try not to go to sleep, right? And then you waited for the day to end and then you waited back through traffic. And then when you got home, you just basically ate dinner and then you waited to go to sleep and then it started all over again. So I am a teenager at this time and the women in the office, I'm like, they were older. They were probably like, I don't know, 25, <laughs> maybe 30. But to me, they were older, right? And their conversations, y'all, what they talked about was food, restaurants, and bad relationships, really. And that was the conversation in the office. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm just trying to party. I'm just, you know. So after a month, I, I just realized, you know what? If this is what it's like being an accountant or having an accounting job or even working anywhere, working anywhere, it is not for me. And, but I didn't know what would be for me, but I knew that was not for me. So my, I was um, 19 at the time and my mom had already, once I turned 18, you know, she was on it. Come on, you gotta join. And I was like, never will I join Mary Kay. But this one summer internship was all it took. <laughs> when I thought about my mom, the opposite of these women, she was what I call H and H. She was always home and she was always happy. Okay, y'all. When I called her, there was no work whisper. <laughs> she was able to talk to me. And then I had her card. It wasn't called a debit card then, but I had her card. And then I realized too that 
you know, one semester, one entire semester in school, I drove her free Mary Kay car because Mary Kay, speaking of the car program, Mary Kay ensures three drivers in the home. And so I was totally insured and Mary Kay has no mileage requirement. So I was able to drive her free Mary Kay car. We lived in Atlanta. I went to college in Washington, DC. And I was able to drive that car in Washington, DC and be insured. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that, y'all. And I begin, my, I began to think about that finally. I got outside of myself being me, me, me. And I thought about my mom and her life and her lifestyle. And looking at these women, I did not want to become those ladies. I wanted to become my mom and darn if I didn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, all right, here's how it went. I wish I could tell you that I called my mom and said, mom, sign me up and I'm ready. And I wish I could tell you that, that it just went boom. Just, I just was awesome right away. I wish I could tell y'all that, but guess what? This is how it went. I said, mom, I want to start Mary Kay. And she said, oh, great, baby. So, you know, I started and I got my, my kit, my starter kit and it arrived and it sat there. <laughs> And I, I wish I could tell you I opened it and just took everything out, but it just did not happen like, like that, okay? And so I learned to be patient with myself. I learned that, okay, it's, it doesn't have to be overnight my success, but it needs to be consistent and I need to put effort into it. And I wish I could tell you that I did just that, but I didn't do that. So what, what, this is what happened. I was more of an insultant than a consultant, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> it was, yes. Um, but when I graduated and I moved back home, um, things changed then. I had another like sort of aha moment. So my parents put me through college with no student loan, y'all. Mary Kay. I drove a free, her free car in college, Mary Kay. Um, and so I, I mostly had the thing, everything I wanted growing up. I was a good girl. I, I did everything I needed to do. I never gave too much trouble. And so my parents really did give me the things that I, that I wanted and I, I wasn't, I didn't need for anything. I say all that to say that after I moved back home after seven months, after being home for seven months and doing what, um, what 20 year olds do, I was hanging out and partying with my friends and coming home when I wanted to, because I was, that's what I was used to, right? Well, my story goes that after seven months of being at home, I said, mom, I'm going to get my own apartment. And her story is a little bit different, but we're not going to talk about what her story is. My story is that I let her know that I was ready to leave the house. And so then things began to change because she looked at me and she said, you are either going to work your Mary Kay business or you're going to get a job. And y'all, although she had given me everything I could ever have wanted, I knew she meant that. I knew she meant that. I knew she meant that. She was, she was not going to help me pay rent. And then I changed from being an insultant to a consultant. And I still partied now. Don't get that wrong. I still hung out. I'm single, no kids, you know. However, I did begin to introduce the friends that I, um, my circle, because I was building a new circle, I did introduce them to skincare. And I did say, uh, y'all, I need some practice. You know, I want your opinions and things like that. And I was closer than I thought to customers, to sales, to consistency. And within four months, I had won my first Mary Kay car, the Red Grand Am, within four months of consistent work, paying that rent. That was my purpose. But everything changed from there. I became a sales director. And as Jen has mentioned, at 23, I earned my first pink Cadillac. So I'm still partying, be clear. So I'm driving a Sedan DeVille, a four-door sedan to the club. <laughs> It was awesome. <laughs> That's all I had to drive. Um, so the, it's not the car really, but it's, it's all I had, right? And so anyway, I digress. 
So single, no kids. And then, you know, I let somebody put a ring on it, get excited. And so now I'm, I'm working my Mary Kate business as a married director with Mary Kay, enjoying that. Then came my, my son and then came my daughter, right? And so I'm married with kids. So I've worked the business as a single woman, married with children, and then I took the ring off. So now I'm a single mom of two working my Mary Kay business. And during that period of time, I became a national sales director as a single parent, y'all, with two kids under six years old. And about a year later, after debuting as a national, I met Magic Mike. <laughs> okay, and so now, and then we married. And so now I am married with a blended family. So all walks of life. And um, God just said, you're going to experience it all. <laughs> and, but Mary Kay, y'all, sustained me all of this time. I've never had a job after that one internship that summer in college. I have never worked, nor have I ever considered working outside of Mary Kay. If I've ever needed extra income, I did more here in this beautiful pink bubble. And so what I have found over my years is that Mary Kay, it's like a computer, y'all. When you input the activity, the output is more than you input. It is insane how much we earn in how little time and how fun it is and how fulfilling it is. Oh, I just watching the women talk about the pink Cadillac. I have two pink Cadillacs right now. I drive a pink Escalade and I have the two-seater XLR. And that's like my little pink Barbie car. I don't drive it much y'all because it literally only fits me and my purse. <laughs> and because I have kids and you have to take them here and there, but the pink Cadillac, it's there. And believe it or not, even guests on the call, you are closer than even you think to driving that dream. I want to talk about cars for a minute and women. Reliable wheels. Put that in the chat. Reliable wheels is priceless for a woman. And I don't know about y'all, but if you're like me, all I do is start the car. I don't look under a hood. I don't change a tire. I don't do any of those things. And in my entire adult life, I have driven free of I've driven Mary Kay career cars. We're not supposed to say free because we do, we do work and we do maintain our cars, okay? So I have driven Mary Kay career cars my entire adult life. You keep them for two years and then you get a brand new one. No one's ever driven it, no mileage requirement. I can go from here to Canada in my Mary Kay career car. And then a new one comes and then a new one comes. And so I don't know about getting in a car and the car not starting or even really real maintenance. And I don't, I, I probably take for granted how important that is to have reliable wheels. No lights ever come on in my car, nothing. Let me knock on wood. <laughs> But the, you, you've not, you've not, we never have the cars long enough for severe, strong maintenance, y'all. It's just amazing what, what the output is from our input. Guess, put your hand in the hand of the woman who invited you today. And there's even some guests who are going to be able to join tonight for free. And just find out just how close you are to realizing your dreams and 
if you don't know what those dreams are, we will help you dream again. That's what this business does for us. We realize wildest dreams. If it's taking all of your kids to Disney World, if it's taking them all to Europe, taking them all to Australia, um, if you if you want to rent a beautiful um, VR, VRBO for the entire family, for the holidays, for the summer, these are dreams. These are all dreams. And you're closer than you think. And I know that because you're on this call tonight, because you were able to see the vision that our founder had, Janice shared with you all of our the workings of our business, how we're privately held. Um, she shared with you our goodwill in the community. It is an amazing company. Going into 60 years, y'all, not fly by night. Yes, since I've joined, there's been so many other direct sales companies. Nothing, nothing compares to Mary Kay, the product, the culture, the commission period. Give it a try. You're closer than you think. That's it. I'm going to drop the 